hi guys thank you for coming this is so early for me let me tell you and i've got something so excited my, my parcel from thailand welcome everybody hello hi my name is ruby and i'm slightly plant obsessed right guys i'm on the floor here put this up on a table so i can show you guys let's get this baby open it does look like it's actually been open already probably from customs and then what they did was just put it back together just checked what was in it even though it's got a certificate from them still had to have a good nose around here yeah, definitely looks very loose opened here's the receipts and it's wrapped like this guys there's three <laughs> three plants in here oh my gosh i'm so excited i just woke up guys so if i look like this morning phase okay who cares about me let's concentrate on the plants okay so where do i start I'm so excited. I've been looking forward to these. I ordered it about two weeks, two and a half weeks ago. These two are taped to the box like that. Cardboard box behind it. And this one is a single plant. And that's three. And these are just wrapping. So that box is now empty. Hey guys, now the camera is down. I hope you guys can see the plants. Let's open the single plant first and see what this is. Guys, this is so exciting. I just can't wait. Oh wow. Look at that guys. Wow, look at that. My, my kitten is interested in it now. Okay. So this is basically, guys, the Philodendron Mayo Eye. The Philodendron Mayo Eye. So stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to tell you how much each of them cost and stuff. So it's from Thailand, Philodendron Mayo Eye. Here's the roots. Let me open them all, all of them, see what they all are, and then I'll get into the roots and see how the roots are doing and tell you how much they cost. That's one. Put that back in the box so I can open the rest. So, still unwrapping the second plant. I think the seller at the bottom, it's an eBay seller from Thailand and again he's done a fantastic job with all the plants he's sent and how they look. Now this guys is, mind my pronunciation, this is the Epipurium Panenton Skeleton Key Aeroid plant and look at the roots on that guys. Hello. Hello. Okay, look at the aerial roots on that. Isn't it just fantastic? And look at the shape of the leaf on this. The whole point of me buying this was I absolutely love the shape of this leaf. It's so uncommon. I mean, it it looks, it just looks weirdly wonderful. It looks like one of those fishes with the fins at the back. Uh, forget what they're called. But doesn't it just, stingrays, that's it. It looks like a stingray. So this is probably when it's not matured. And 
this is the more mature form this is the more mature form oh if you can see there and this is not so mature there so we're we'll looking to the roots of this soon second plant now let's get into the third one guys this third one a sneak peek a sneak sneaky sneaky talk about it's a hoya i love the uncommon more rarer hoya a bit more hard to find as a full plant i mean there's probably cuttings of this a lot but as a full plant i haven't really seen it guys the hoya daiki oh it didn't travel too well too too well some leaves have fallen off but hey expected considering they the rest have traveled well and there's plenty on here i am not fussed guys look at the daiki oh wow this definitely needs a good drink but other than that, there's so much foliage on this. It looks great. I mean, that looks really, really nice. Let me take this off. It's in a pot, plastic pot. It's vining up these wires. And it, it's in quite good condition considering it didn't travel too badly and there's plenty of dead leaves on there but other than that there is a lot more non-dead leaves on here so look at that i think that looks wonderful now let's talk prices guys let's start off with the daiki uh, the hoya daiki seven inches plant it, it was 19.99 20 pounds seven pounds 13 postage remember this seller does a combined postage so you the first item the most expensive item you pay full postage for and then every other plant you buy you could buy up to seven plants international buyers without having to submit a business kind of transaction you're just buying for yourself and up to seven plants and what he does with the postage for every other plant that you buy you get 40 percent off postage so this one the um skeleton key aroid plant was the more expensive one out of them this was 34.99 so 35 pounds and the postage on this was quite expensive guys it was 23.22 on this plant so once i paid full postage for this and the full amount for the plant so the other two postage went down by 40 percent so this one the philodendron mayo i cost 22 pounds 785 postage the same as this and this was 20 pounds with 713 postage so guys in total for all three plants i paid 145 17 pence three plants rare plants tropical come in good condition i think that's money well spent and guys i'm going to open up the roots and put them in some water so let me get that sorted stay tuned guys if you want to see the root system and how they're doing in there traveling for two weeks okay i'm back now what I want to do is just check the root system, see how the roots are doing. It's wrapped up in clean film, in a plastic bag, kind of clean film, sellotape, in moss. 
and the moss is still very very damp which is a good sign it hasn't dried out so I'm hoping the roots are still quite well okay let's take it off gently Oh, some of the roots have broken. It's a bit soggy. It has been wrapped in there. Hope there's no root, rotting roots. It's looking okay. Mm, maybe the browning is from the um, from the soil that it was in. I know they kind of jet wash the uh, roots, so that's one. Hope it's fine. I'm going to soak it in some water in a jar, just like that. Hope that helps. I'll probably put a bit of a fertilizer in there just to help it give it that. Probably keep it in water for a day and then come and show you guys how I'm repotting it or however long it takes depending on let's see how it does in there I'll probably change the water after a while because it looks a bit murky but the plant hasn't kept to its very greeny greeny leaf it has turned slightly yellow but then guys it has been traveling for two weeks so what do I expect? Some plants do better in traveling and some just don't. But you know what? I can't complain. The roots don't look like they're rotting. They still look quite very healthy. But there's not much of it. And I think some of the root must have come off on here. But hey, traveling plants, you can't really complain that much. Okay, let's leave. <clears throat> Okay, this is in the same kind of situation, wrapped up quite well. the moss is the same color as the roots you just don't know where's the moss and where's the roots but we're getting there it's quite moist and I just want to gently open it up without pulling on the roots or tugging on them in any way just gently The roots are covered in, this, is, this looks like coconut core. It's in the coconut skin. These roots are far more established, far more healthy. I think there's slightly, slight root rot going on there. Little bit, just pull that off. But other than that, this plant, the roots on here are really, really established. Put it in there. Give it a good drink. There. Okay. Now, last but not least, let's see how they've packed this one up, the Daiki, Hoya Daiki. I'm sure this will need a pot of its own. They must have just put it in. It's more difficult to get into. Bark. 
Yeah, it seems to be in some sort of coconut bark or some sort of bark. Put it in. It's dry, completely dried out. Said I take the whole thing together. It's actually quite dry. Okay, guys, just took some time to unravel this. This was going under there. I don't know how that is going to be, but when I repot it and I can pop the whole thing on there like that, the cocoa thingamajiggers have come out, bung them in there. But I'll pop this in water as well. Maybe I should check the roots. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to eventually anyways oh, okay so it's been growing in this it looks like I don't think they just put it in here for travel it's been growing in this okay so I will have to repot it in something similar or use a Hoya mix with some of this in it as well and I'll give it some water to drink for now and then we'll take it from there okay guys this is my Hoya Deiki Philodendron Mayoi and my Skeleton Key Aroid plant Hope you enjoyed that unboxing guys. It's kind of short notice. I just got it, just got up and just put the camera on and just thought, let me quickly do an unboxing and show you. I will be um, potting these up and when I pot them up, you can see how they're doing as well. So I'll pot them up probably individually, probably tomorrow. So come back to watch that please guys. Anyways guys, I hope you have a fantastic Monday and take care. Love you guys a lot. See you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.